What's up guys, welcome back to AB Auto. Now, my last three videos have been a bit negative with the car going back to Mercedes, um, the discovery of the broken rear shock, shock absorber. Um, so I thought I'd brighten things up and today we're gonna do five things that I absolutely love about the 2019 C43. Right guys, we're gonna kick things off with the first thing that I love about my C43, and it is of course, the rear end of the car. So what do I love about the rear end of the car? Well, the first thing I love is these quad exhaust pipes. They are massive. They're such an improvement over the previous model. I don't know if you remember or if you're familiar, but the previous model of the C43, it wasn't really special at the back. It didn't really have much going on for it. And I think performance cars need that big special exhaust at the back. The previous generation of the C43 had those lame little exhaust tip things and they just put a line through the middle it wasn't really great whereas now we've got these massive overalls and it's all tied together with this lovely aggressive rear diffuser at the top here we've also got this really nice little spoiler um, i've actually wrapped mine in black because i really think it helps emphasize it and give that back in that extra aggressive look and guys i've got to tell you this doesn't only look awesome it sounds amazing too i'm going to show you now in this nice little montage of exhaust clips that i've put together Right, so the next thing I love about this car is the grip. I mean, this thing is so grippy. You've obviously got the four wheel drive system. It's got 70% power at the back, so it feels like a rear wheel drive car and you've got that excitement of the rear wheel drive pushing you back, but it just handles so well. I mean, you can be in any weather conditions, stuck at a roundabout or a red light, and you've put your foot down all the way and you're just gonna floor it off. There's gonna be no spinning. You're not gonna worry about having to go sideways. Uh, it just grips so well. I mean. I took it round to the track at Mercedes World and it was absolutely brilliant. Now, I used to own a rear-wheel drive C300. I mean, it had 250 brake horsepower. This has got just about almost 400 horsepower, so there is a bit of a difference there. But my rear-wheel drive C300, it was so undrivable without perfect weather conditions. I mean, in England here, we get a lot of rain, the roads aren't great, so, if you're driving a rear-wheel drive car, you're just never going to be able to drive it to its full potential. So that's one of the main reasons why I went for the C43 over the C63, even though the C63, don't get me wrong, the C63 is an amazing car, but I just like that extra added security and grip of the four-wheel drive because you can still have tons of fun. 
Right guys, so the next thing I love about this car is these right here, these headlights. They are brilliant. They're so bright, they're so vibrant. The high beam assist is great. It honestly, I used to hate driving in the dark because it's just not fun. And usually in this country it's raining, so you've got all the reflection of all the car's lights on you. But ever since I've got this car, driving in the dark, it's not that much different than driving in the day. Now I have done a full video about these lights, which really explores them in detail. It's also a good look at the interior light on the car as well. So I'll leave a link up here so you can check that video out if you want to hear more about these lights but yep that is the next thing i love about this car the lights are brilliant okay guys so the next thing i love about this car is the interior i mean what can i say it's just gorgeous i mean look at all this lovely red stitching it goes all the way around it even goes back here it goes around the door um, it's around the steering wheel the seats are absolutely covered in it it's just a really really nice place to be then of course we've got the brand new AMG steering wheel which is just absolutely gorgeous. I mean I'm in love with this steering wheel. I don't think I've ever seen a steering wheel this cool. I mean let's begin. I mean we've got this lovely metal bit here at the bottom with the big AMG badges. Um, it's got the red stitching all around it. You've got the racing red line at the top here which just adds that extra excitement of a sporty feel. Um, you've got this lovely metal plate here. All the buttons are lovely. They're metal. They feel really good. They're really responsive. Um, you've got two touch pads, one that controls the centre and one that controls the screen behind. Um, it's just such a lovely steering wheel. It feels so nice in your hands. It's got the flat bottom, of course, as well. Um, these paddles are great too. I mean, they're just about the right size. They don't block the screen and they feel nice. They're solid metal too. I mean, they get quite cold in the winter, but they're just, it's just a brilliant place to be. And how cool is this? I mean, this little start engine light. It, it lights up and flashes and pulses when you sit in the car. It's like the car is ready and waiting for you to start it up. Right, so the last thing I want to talk about that I love about the C43 is this digital dash right here. Now, I've got a full overview video of this digital dash on my channel where I show you pretty much every single menu, every single feature. I'm going to link that up here so you can watch that, but I'll just talk about it briefly now. Right, so when you start the car up, you are greeted with this lovely little intro. Let's see if I can get the camera in focus here for you. If we properly start the car up now, as you can see, it's got this lovely dial. It's nicely animated. On the right here, you can display all sorts from a G meter, uh, boost gauges, uh, tire pressures. That will pop up once we've been driving for a bit. It also tells you your temperature of your tires as well, which is pretty cool. And then fuel consumption, I quite like the map, I like to keep the map on it. It mirrors the map in the center display. And on the left here, you've got all your AMG bits. So I like this menu, it shows you your turbo boost, it shows you all the different drive mode setups you've got there. So we're obviously on balance exhaust now, if we flip it to powerful, nice. And then back to balance, so you can hear me. Um, but yeah, we use the touch pads here on the steering wheel. So if we go back to the left side, we've got various menus, we've got the G meter again. Uh, you can do a lap timer if you're on the track. Um, and then another boost gauge with various bits of horsepower information. Um, but you can also, if you press the home button here, it brings up a menu and you can change what's on this screen. So the moment we're on the AMG performance, you've got assistance there, you've got service, uh, you can do your navigation, um, and you can also completely change the design. This is the specific AMG display at the moment, but if we go into here, you can see we've got sport, uh, and then we've also got classic so yeah so that's the uh, digital dash guys um, if you want to see more about digital dash then make sure you check out that other video that i've posted so there we have it guys that is the five things that i love about the c43 i hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to hit that thumbs up button it really helps the channel out and if you want to see more great content on this car then hit the subscribe button too i'll see you guys next time